Hi there everyone, Mr. Burke here. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about the HBS 2.3.1 activity and the portion of that activity where you create a flowchart about the endocrine system. Your work doesn't have to match my example, but your work should follow the directions and have all the required elements just like mine does. In my example, I'm gonna talk about how the endocrine system supports the body when the body is low on hydration. So if the body starts getting thirsty because it's been working out and hot and sweaty, like my example is in the top left corner, how the endocrine system responds to that situation until the nervous system can manage to get the human to drink more water and survive, as you can see in my bottom left-hand corner. But anyway, moving from this situation, something changes about the body's homeostatic balance, and so the endocrine system gets involved to try to solve that problem. The nervous system is also working in parallel on trying to solve this problem, but the endocrine system has a couple advantages and can do a couple things to help support the body in this situation, which we'll talk about. The endocrine system is composed of glands throughout the body, some of them are endocrine glands and some of them are exocrine glands. Most exocrine glands are not part of the endocrine system. A couple are, but it's just important here to highlight the difference between the two to make sure that you understand which ones we're talking about. Sebaceous glands release um, oil from around the hair follicles in your skin. It's an important part of the, your body's homeostatic balance, but it is not part of the endocrine system. They are exocrine glands, and that means that they release their product to the outside world. Endocrine glands, however, release their product into the bloodstream. So the pancreas is an example of an endocrine gland. When it releases insulin into the bloodstream to help control the sugar levels in the blood, that is an endocrine process. Technically, the pancreas is also an exocrine gland because it can release digestive enzymes into your intestines, which is technically part of the outside world, but that's not what we're talking about right now. In my example for controlling the hydrostatic balance in the body, the gland that is part of this process is the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is going to receive some information from the nervous system, and it's gonna start the endocrine system's response to this low hydrostatic pressure. My orange arrow here is just pointing out that the hypothalamus is an endocrine gland. So the hypothalamus is going to release a hormone. Over here on the right hand side, you can see my little chemical diagram. Here is the visual. And the hormone that the hypothalamus releases is called vasopressin. Vasopressin is also called antidiuretic hormone or ADH. Whatever you call it, this hormone is going to float through the blood and make its way to a receptor on the target cell, which is in the kidney. And this hormone's job is to get the kidney to retain more water from the filtrate, which we'll learn about when we learn about the urinary system. But in short, basically, the antidiuretic hormone makes you urinate less, and it makes your urine more concentrated. So your body's process, the endocrine system, the endocrine system's response to running out of water and being thirsty is to have your body conserve as much water as possible so that you can live long enough until your nervous system finds a source for water and gets your body to drink more water. So the endocrine system doesn't create more water, it just allows you to hold on to water for longer until your nervous system can source more water for your body. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, our little person, um, has got two glasses of water and should be recovered in no time. So this little example flowchart uh, shouldn't take you too long to assemble. Um, you can use whatever situation you want to demonstrate these broad components of an endocrine system response. Whatever you do, please just make sure that you followed all the directions and have all the requirements, and I'm excited to see your work.